Uh, let's start with uh, uh, internet security. So the web is not the internet. The web runs on top of the internet in a sense. The web is the collection of HTTP servers that hold and process websites we see. The internet is the collection of physical devices and communication protocols used to traverse these websites and interact with them. So the websites looks the way they do because their creators use language that dictates the look, feel and functionality of the page. Web browser enables users to read web pages by enabling them to request and accept web pages via HTTP. And the user's browser converts the language HTML, DHTML and XML into a format that can be viewed on the monitor. The browser is the user's window to the world wide web. Now see, this slide is going to tell you about the difference between the web and an internet, right? I mean, web is going to run over an internet and internet is the way through which you are going to access the web, right? In the same way, there are different protocols which are running over your web, over your computer, which needs to communicate between the multiple sites over a network like HTTP, HTTPS, all the communication that might happen through this hypertest transfer protocol, hypertest transfer protocol secure or like that, right? And uh, you have the web client, uh, I mean you have a client and then you have the server. Your client is going to communicate with the server and server in turn return you a web page that might be displayed onto your screen. Now see, uh, I mean there are certain protocols. I think you people have gone through the application presentation and session layer in your previous subject like you are uh, I mean, this one get the computer networks can the ticket was me. I'm already passed. Yeah, thank you. I mean, up to you up upper layers uh, application presentation and session. They are responsible to generate such type of mechanism so that your data can be visible in the right format to the end user application. The company is the layer that the right format can the data you have who are a user for in another uh, item web browser is the best solution or you may call it as the best formatted solution that can be provided to the end user just can there are going be website open got them so you would find in a very normal way in a very a very a, i mean understandable manner you are understanding or you are watching or you viewing the different websites in in a, in a normal way right so so how can you do all these things because there are certain protocols running in the back which are going to format your data which are going to show you the data how it looks like I mean how you can see that data or how you can understand that particular data, right? So this is how regarding the web and internet browser can understand a variety of protocols and have the capability to process many types of commands, but they do not understand them all. For example, these protocols are command the user's browser does not, does not know how to process. The user can download the, and install a viewer plugins, a modular components of code that integrate itself into the system or browser. I mean, certain browsers can understand certain pro protocols, right? But there are certain issues or there are certain problems which cannot which might not be solved by the web browser for that reason what you are going to do you are going to do install different type of plugins like google chrome app of a different plugin install karke of different services there okay and he can so this is the responsibility of these plugins which are going to enhance the functionality of that particular browser so this is a quick and easy way to expand the functionality of the browser however this can cause a serious security compromises because the payloads of the module can easily carry viruses and malicious software that users don't discover until it's too late. Now see, this is very important concern of any type of web browser. I mean, if you have any third party plugin installed in your application, you will also install it anywhere, so it is the vulnerable point. If you have that plugin, it must be a certain sort of software service that you have installed or which you have allowed to access your data. So now if you have that web browser, then you install it, so if it is malicious, or it might be a vulnerable that it could be harm your computer or it could be harm your data that has been traveling between your web browser and your web server. Okay, as a view of that we still like a plug in home. Do you have to normally to take up a service data? Lakin that plug in might contain certain sort of code which is going to sniff your information or sniff the information that has been traveling between the web browser so between your client and the server and all that. So this is a very dangerous situation. You have to be very much, uh, I mean to say that, uh, sure that whatsoever the plugins you are installing, they must be authentic one, right? So this is how 
uh, this is a problem that you might come across when you're installing certain sort of services into your web browser, right? So why do we connect to the internet? At first, this seems a basic question, but as we dive deeper into the query complexity creeps in, we connect to download MP3s, check email, order security books, look at the websites, communicate with friends, and perform various other tasks. Atali, question is that we connect to the internet. Have you ever thought that we connect to the कि क्या हुआ इनको वन वन टू ओके सो आई मीन हैव यू एवर थॉट दैट कि जी हम इंटरनेट पे कनेक्ट क्यों होते हैं आई मीन देर देर मस्ट बी सम मैकेनिज्म ना देर मस्ट बी सम गोल टू कनेक्ट ओवर एन इंटरनेट आई मीन लेट्स सपोज यू वांट टू यूज डिफरेंट सर्विसेज लाइक ईमेल सर्विसेज यू नीड टू डाउनलोड सर्टेन सॉर्ट ऑफ एमपी थ्री फाइल्स टू डाउनलोड सर्टेन बुक्स फ्रॉम अ गूगल और यू माइट want to communicate with someone over an internet right so that is the main reason to come and connect over an internet but what are we really doing we are using services provided by a computer's protocol and software these services may be file transfer protocol remote connectivity provided by the telnet internet connectivity provided by http secure communication provided by the ssl and much much more without these protocols there would be no way to even connect to the internet now see ये तो आपको बड़ा जनरल सा आइडिया हो गया कि हम इंटरनेट यूज करते हैं यू वॉन्ट टू कम्युनिकेट ओवर व्हाट्सएप यू सेंड मैसेज यू रिसीव मैसेज यू सेंड पिक्चर्स यू रिसीव पिक्चर्स एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स यू सेंड ईमेल्स यू रिसीव ईमेल्स नो इश्यू आप कोई वीडियो सुन रहे हैं वीडियो देख रहे हैं कोई गाना सुन रहे हैं ओवर अ यूट्यूब यू आर डूइंग दैट बट एक्चुअली वॉट हैपनिंग बिहाइंड दैट एक्चुअली आपके पास अगर आप कोई सिक्योर ट्रांजेक्शन कर रहे हैं बिटवीन योर क्लाइंट एंड वेब सर्वर यू हैव एन एस एस एल प्रोटोकॉल इज रनिंग अगर आप एप्लीकेशन लेयर की बात करें तो देर इज एन एंड टू एंड इनक्रिप्शन अगर आप लोअर लेयर की बात करें देर इज अ लिंक इनक्रिप्शन इन बिटवीन आपके पास पी पी टी पी इनक्रिप्शन दीज आर द डिफरेंट प्रोटोकॉल एस एस This is a standard or a protocol. PPTP is a protocol. In the same way, uh, link encryption and end-to-end -end encryption, these are the certain standards or protocol which are being used to do all these encryptions and all that. In the same way, if you are talking about email sending and receiving, you have the MIME, right? You have uh, certain sort of other protocols like FTP. I mean, if you are sending some file, you might be using in. I mean, you are overlooking all these things, but actually at the behind end, at the behind, you might be using FTP services are being applied or like that right at certain situation you have the dhcp services are being used so these are the different protocols or services which are actually running to provide you the all these facilities right and so internet is nothing more than uh, i mean to say that the set of protocols and services which are actually running over the internet right so you must be very much clear that the internet protocols ke bagair without the protocols your internet cannot run right आई I मीन mean, ये जो भी आपकी फॉर्मेटेड uh, डेटा आपको नजर आ रहा होता है ये सारे आपके पास एप्लीकेशन लेयर प्रोटोकॉल्स होते हैं आपके पास जो प्रेजेंटेशन और सेशन लेयर के अंदर जो भी प्रोटोकॉल्स मैंने आपको पढ़ाए थे दीज ऑल प्रोटोकॉल्स आर बीइंग यूज टू फॉर्मेट योर डेटा क्रिएट सेशन एंड ऑल दीज थिंग्स टी और यू हमने ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर पे पढ़े थे दे आर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट दे यूज टू असाइन सर्टेन शॉर्ट ऑफ कोड नंबर्स how your data would be sent connection less connection oriented all these things are going to be managed over these particular things right so protocols are very important when you are communicating over the internet right ab http ki agar hum baat karte hain very simple very obvious very popular hyper test transfer protocol uh, of the web http sits on top of tcp ip when a user clicks on a link on a web page with his mouse his browser uses http to send a request to a web server hosting the website the web server finds a corresponding file to that link and send it to the user by http i mean you are writing certain certain value in a web browser yahoo.com आप लिखते हैं तो आपकी रिक्वेस्ट एस सी टी पी रिक्वेस्ट जो है ना वो जाती है याहू के वेब सर्वर के ऊपर ठीक है वो वेब सर्वर आपकी इस रिक्वेस्ट को रिस्पॉन्ड करता है इन रिस्पॉन्स टू सम सर्टेन शॉर्ट ऑफ लॉग इन पेज और वेब पेज जो आपके क्लाइंट के ऊपर आके ओपन अप होता है ठीक है सो ऑल दिस कम्युनिकेशन इज बींग डन टू अ प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज यूर एस सी टी पी प्रोटोकॉल राइट सो where is tcp ip in all of this the tcp protocol controls the handshaking and maintains the connection between the user and the server and the ip protocols makes sure the file is routed properly throughout the internet to get from the web server to the user ab dekhe ab ye bata raha hai ki http to aapke paas ek point pe use ho raha hai na then where the tcp ip stands for tcp ip ke andar to aur bhi bahut se protocol hai tcp hai ip hai where these are stands in this particular situation so tcp is going to create a virtual session between the sender and the 
receiver right a three way handshake is being created and once this has been created you start sending and receiving the data at the same time when you are talking about ip protocol so ip is a very general protocol which is being used to help you or help data to route data between the different nodes or between sender and receiver that how your data is being routed over a network that is a total responsibility of an ip protocol right so this is again the responsibility of different protocols in this particular environment http is a stateless protocol which means that the client and web servers makes and break and connection for each operation when a user requests to view a web page that web server finds a requested web page present it to the user and finds the requested web page present it to the user and then terminates the connection i mean stateless protocol ka matlab ye hota hai your client and web servers communicate and when the session when the work ends that connection is going to be terminated according to the request of the user or the web server right so this is how your http works right then we have https you all are well aware about this protocol also http is running over an ssl make sure ssl mein aapko bata chuka hu secure socket layer protocol http works at the application layer and works at the transport layer ab ye badi important baat hai ki http aapka kaun si layer pe kaam karta hai application layer i mean application presentation session teen hi aa jati hai iske andar और जो एस एस एल है मैंने आपको लास्ट लेक्चर में बताया था कि इट वर्क ऑन यूर ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर सो सिक्योर सॉकेट लेयर यूजेस पब्लिक की इंक्रिप्शन एंड प्रोवाइड डेटा इंक्रिप्शन सर्वर ऑथेंटिकेशन मैसेज इंटीग्रिटी एंड ऑप्शनल क्लाइंट ऑथेंटिकेशन ऑल इज बींग डन थ्रू अ प्रोटोकॉल दैट इज कॉल्ड एज यूर सिक्योर सॉकेट लेयर दैट वर्क ऑन यूर transport layer right so when a client access the website that website may have both secured and public portion the secured portion would require the user to authenticate it in some fashion when the client goes from a public page on the website to a secured page the web server will start the necessary task to invoke ssl and protect this type of communication ab dekhiye ye bada important concept hai aapne kabhi note kiya hai ki jab bhi aap koi bhi ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग करते हैं ऑनलाइन शॉपिंग के थ्रू आप जो नॉर्मल कम्युनिकेशन कर रहे होते हैं दैट इज अ पब्लिक कम्युनिकेशन दैट माइट नॉट रिक्वायर एनी टाइप ऑफ सिक्योरिटी ठीक है जी लेकिन एज सुन एज यू गो टू वर्ड्स एट ट्रांजेक्शन पेज आई मीन यू वॉन्ट टू इनपुट यूर क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर एंड सर्टेन ऑनलाइन बैंकिंग ट्रांजेक्शन और फाइनेंशियल ट्रांजेक्शन नीड्स टू टेक प्लेस दैट पर्टिकुलर पेज यू बी टेकिंग यू टू सम सिक्योर पेज That is called as your SSL based or secure page. So, अब ये जो आपकी communication होगी ना, जो आपकी secure communication है, that needs to be run on some other link that is called as that is being secured by your SSL protocol or like that. So, this is how your both public and private secure communication can be done over a HTTPS or an SSL protocol, right? So, the server sends a message back to the client indicating a secure session should be established. and the client in response sends its security parameters the server compares those security parameters to its own until it finds a match now this is just going to show you that tell you that how the connection is being created or how the session is being generated between the web browser and the web server so that a ssl session can be created so that your data or your session must be encrypted by using ssl so this is the handshaking phase the server authenticates to the client by sending its a digital certificate and if the client decides to trust the server the process continues the server continues the server can require the client to send over a digital certificate for mutual authentication but that is rare i have told you in our previous in the previous class ki aapke paas digital certificate ke through authentication or oh, sorry trust generate hota hai between two entities i mean if you have a client and if you have a server these are the two entities and they don't trust each other what they do they need to share their digital certificate now that is being generated by your ssl protocol theek hai ji to ssl ke through aapke paas digital certificate generate hoga wo share honge jab they both are verified by the both entities then they start communicating and any communication or any transaction that is being done between this session it must be 100 not 100 percent but 99.9 percent secure right this is how you are going to ensure your secure communication over here right the client generates a session key and encrypts it with the server's public key this encrypted key is sent to the web server and they both use this symmetric key to encrypt the data they send back and forth this is how the secure channel is established ab dekhiye ye cheez main aapko pehle bata chuka hu ki aap kis tarah se karte hain client generates a session key ab client ne kya kiya apni ek session key generate kar li 
एंड इट इनक्रिप्ट इट विद द सर्वर पब्लिक की अब जो सर्वर ने अपनी पब्लिक की आई मीन टू से दैट पब्लिक की हुई है ओवर द इंटरनेट उसको उठाएगा और उससे उस सेशन की को इनक्रिप्ट करेगा आपका वेब ब्राउजर या आपका जो क्लाइंट है अब ये इंफॉर्मेशन सेंड होगी किसको सर्वर को सर्वर वुड रिसीव दिस इंफॉर्मेशन एंड इज गोइंग टू डिक्रिप्ट दैट पर्टिकुलर सेशन की बाय इट्स प्राइवेट की ठीक है उस प्राइवेट की तो सेशन की को डिक्रिप्ट करेगा नाउ सेशन की इज बीइंग प्रेजेंट एट द क्लाइंट एंड एज वेल एज एट द सर्वर एंड नाउ दे स्टार्ट कम्युनिकेटिंग और दे स्टार्ट सेंडिंग और इनक्रिप्टिंग देयर डेटा बाय दैट पर्टिकुलर सेशन की ठीक है सो दिस इज हाउ योर एचटीटीप सिक्योर वर्क्स सो एसएसएल कीप्स द कम्युनिकेशन पाथ ओपन अंटिल वन ऑफ द पार्टीज रिक्वेस्ट टू एंड द सेशन द सेशन इज यूजुअली एंडेड व्हेन द क्लाइंट सेंड्स द सर्वर अ फिन पैकेट व्हिच इज एन इंडिकेशन टू क्लोज आउट द चैनल अब देखें एसएसएल सेशन आपका तब तक रहता है जब तक दोनों साइड में से कोई एक उसको एंड ना करे द सेम इज बीइंग हैपेंड इन द टीसीपी थ्री वे हैंडशेक ठीक है वंस द रिक्वेस्ट हैज बीन रिसीव फ्रॉम सेंडर और द रिसीवर दैट वी वांट टू एंड दिस पर्टिकुलर सेशन दैट सेंड्स द फिन फिन इज एक्चुअली द शॉर्ट फॉर्म ऑफ फिनिश फिनिश वेयर मैसेज इज बीइंग रिसीव्ड बाय द सेंडर और द रिसीवर देन द The receiver is going to acknowledge it, or sender has to acknowledge it, and then that particular communication session has to be ended, and then this session is going to be terminated, right? So this is how your HTTP secure session is going to be uh, finished, right? So SSL requires an SSL enabled server and browser. SSL provides security for the connection, but does not offer security for the data once received. This means that the data are encrypted while being transmitted, but not after the data received by a computer. अच्छा जी ये again बड़ी important बात है कि जी अब जब SSL पे data आपका travel कर रहा है, I mean आपका एक SSL session created है between client and server, and SSL session is being generated. All the information that is being travelling over that particular SSL uh, session, this is secure. ठीक है, लेकिन As as soon as that data is being delivered at the computer और वहां पर वो डिलीवर हो गया अब रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी एस एस एल की खत्म हो गई एस एस एल ओनली सिक्योर योर डेटा वेन इट इज कम्युनिकेटिंग ओवर दैट पर्टिकुलर सेशन बट वेन दैट डेटा इज बींग रिसीव एट द वेब सर्वर ओवर देयर This is not the encrypted data. Make sure. अब आपकी encryption खत्म हो गई है आपकी encryption कहां तक थी जब आपका वो session जहां पर data travel कर रहा था जैसे ही वो data receive और receiving end के ऊपर now there is no any responsibility of the SSL session कि उस data को secure करे अब अगर आपका data compromise हो जाता है from the web server, this is your responsibility, right? So this is the same thing that is being told in this particular slide, right? So if a user send bank account information to a financial institution via a connection protected by SSL, that communication part Path is protected, but the user must trust the financial institution that receives this information because at this point SSL's job is done. I mean, आपकी एक बहुत ही confidential information है जो आपके साथ आपके बैंक सर्वर के ऊपर कम्युनिकेट हो रही है ठीक है आपके बैंक सर्वर पे वो रिसीव हो गई तो जब तक तो वो कम्युनिकेट हो रही थी between client and bank server that is fine. वो सिक्योर थी लेकिन जैसे ही वो रिसीव होकर सेव हो गई आपके बैंक सर्वर के ऊपर तो अब देर इज दैट इज नो मोर सिक्योर अब आपके सर्वर की जो अपनी सिक्योरिटी है दैट वुड गोइंग टू सिक्योर दैट डेटा अगर आपकी नहीं है तो एनी बडी कैन कॉम्प्रोमाइज इट दिस इज नॉट द रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी ऑफ एन एस एस एन राइट so the user can verify that a connection is secure by looking at the url to see that it includes https ab ye dekhen ye badi important baat hai ki ab aapne kis tarah se confirm karna hai ki aapka jo link hai wo secure hai ki nahi hai agar aapki website ke andar jo http likha hua aata hai wo if it is in https this means that this link is secure you can do any type of communication over this particular link but if it is not an https this means that this link is not secure so you have to be conscious about that particular link so user can also check for a padlock or a key icon jo main aapko pehle hi bata chuka hu ek to https aur dusra aapke paas pad icon jo lock ka icon hai wo banta hua so this means that this website is secure depending on the browser type which is shown at the bottom corner of the browser window right in the protocol stack ssl lies beneath the application layer and above the network layer this ensures ssl is not limited to specific application protocols and can still use the communication transport standard of the internet different books and technical resources places ssl at different layers of the ssl model which may seems confusing at first now this is just the different discussion ki aapke paas ssl kaun si layer pe kaam karta hai so i already told you ssl works on 
the transport layer, right? So you have to be very much clear that the SSL job is the transport layer. We come that different peoples have different opinions or different books have different opinion. But what we have to go through, we need to understand SSL security is works on your transport layer, right? So SSL is actually made up of two protocols. One works at the lower end of the session layer and the other works at the top of the transport layer. This is why one resource will state that SSL works at the session layer and the resource puts it in a transport layer. We will use the latter definition, the SSL protocol works at the transport layer that I have told you that, right? That you have the session ki lower layer pe bhi kaam karte hai aur transport layer pe bhi kaam karte hai. But in general, we have to say that it is transport layer pe bhi kaam karte hai. So SSL is almost uh, always used with HTTP. It can also be used with other types of protocols. So if you see a protocol that is followed by an S, that protocol is using SSL to encrypt its data. That's a very interesting information. If there is any protocol with S, I mean that means secure. If there is any S, this means that it is using an SSL protocol. ठीक है तो ये चीज भी आपने जहन में रखनी है जैसे HTTP है तो HTTP S का मतलब ये है कि it is using SSL right in the same way if some other protocol having जैसे S MIME है तो S MIME is using SSL right the same thing right so the last slide SSL is currently at version 3.0 since SSL was developed by Netscape it is an open community protocol this means that the technology community cannot easily extend it SSL to and expand its functionality. If a protocol is proprietary in nature and SSL is the technology community cannot directly change its OI. Right, so if the protocol is fine, this is what okay, if you have open source, so anybody can contribute or like that, right? So that's all for HTTP uh, for today's lecture.